हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल लेट मी टेक अप दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू विश ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स एंड व्यूअर्स अ वेरी हैप्पी पारसी न्यू ईयर सिंस वी हैव फिनिश द पतरानी मच्छी वी शैल कंटिन्यू विद बिरयानी दिस इज होम कुकिंग एंड मेनी अ टाइम्स वी यूज रेडीमेड मसालास I always use shan biryani masala. One packet. I have steamed potatoes, two in number, cut into halves. Sorry, three in number, cut into halves. Then we'll be using oil and ghee together. We'll be using yogurt. About. Three tablespoons. Here I have half a kilo of meat already boiled in the cooker. This is chopped tomatoes, small, three in number, half a lemon, which we will squeeze inside. This is two small cups of rice, about. Half a kilo of rice, you can say, or seven hundred and fifty grams, and my all-time favorite, fried onions. Here, I'll be using saffron, little bit of saffron essence, and egg yellow food color for garnish, which I haven't done over here. I'll be taking a little bit of coriander chopped and of course mint leaves chopped without mint leaves no fun in biryani and a couple of cashew nuts broken and rosin in or sultanin as we call now like always I'll put everything inside together since i am using fried onions i don't have to start off while frying onions and all we put inside about 1 cup of oil and along with the oil we'll be using some ghee about 2 spoons of ghee you can put vanaspati ghee or you can put pure ghee into it then we put 6 spoons of onions for the biryani we have to use a little more onions we put the ginger garlic paste nice two eating spoons then we put the tomatoes and two big spoons of yogurt say about 200 grams to this we will be adding the shan masala or shan biryani masala it is called shan bombay biryani masala one full packet in this masala they have everything what is required for a nice mughlai biryani they have all the dried spices they even have alu bukhara badi ilaichi essence of kevra in it so you don't have to add anything and in this masala the salt is already there 
you need not eat, need to add any extra salt. Mix all this together along with two measuring cups of water. and then switch on your hot plate to full or your stove mix this whole thing properly and let it cook for a while after about 10 to 15 minutes of cooking this just lower the flame to half and this is the time when you add the lime to it just squeeze it out this lime will pep up the nice creamy yogurt which is inside and give a nice savourish taste to the biryani if you want your biryani to be a little more spicy add a teaspoon of chili powder to it and to give color this is optional to give more red color to your biryani you can add tandoori powder 1 spoon 1 teaspoon do not use tandoori paste and if you don't have tandoori powder go ahead and just cook your biryani with this masala it will taste as good let this gravy cook for another 15 minutes with the lid on and as i said your stove kept at half after 12 minutes remove the lid and you will see that the color has changed to a little bit of radish inside this is because of adding chili powder kashmiri chili powder and a little bit of tandoori masala at this time you shift the whole thing aside and this whole gravy which i have cooked is for eight people so what we do we remove half the gravy in a box for later on we can use this half just remove it let it cool down and put it on your deep freezer and use it next time to cook either chicken biryani or lamb biryani and with the other half you put it back on the hot plate add the cooked lamb to it mix it add the steamed or the boiled potatoes to it mix it well increase the heat a little bit and try to dry this gravy little more so that in the process the boiled lamb and the potatoes both will take the taste from the gravy now since the gravy has come to this thickness what we do is take the cooked rice I have cooked this rice in the microwave. 
with a little water you can cook it outside till the rice is little more than half done don't fully cook the rice the rice is nice and fluffy just give it a little turn in it with the gravy so that the bottom layer takes up the whole gravy and in the other i have taken some saffron with milk which i'll be adding to it from the top in this remaining rice add saffron essence to it a little bit it gives a beautiful taste and with the tip of the knife take egg yellow color and drop it twice only with the tip of your knife to give the nice biryani color to it mix it so that half the rice gets the orange color or yellow color and half remains plain now for setting this biryani switch off the flame take a little fried onion sprinkle it here say about one spoon is more than enough then take this remaining rice pour it all on the top spread it around nicely and then just spread this milk with saffron the saffron could be from india kashmir or iran or spain it doesn't matter use whatever saffron you have at home now to garnish it on the top we take about two big spoons of coriander chopped and mince cut it to a little big pieces not very fine the mince i took was about 15 mince leaves mix it a little and then we put broken cashew nuts about 8 to 10 and raisins or sultane you can use those white raisins also on top of it and mix it well only from the top at this point what we do is take a kitchen roll double and cover this whole thing up now the reason to do this is because we still have to cook this biryani further put a little water on top so that 
when the biryani is cooked further the top rice doesn't harden up there are two choices either you can cover it with an aluminum foil and put it in the oven at 200 degrees initially for 5 minutes then 100 degrees for 10 minutes and 50 degrees for another 15 minutes after that you can remove it remove the paper and serve hot but if you don't want to use an oven or if you by any chance you don't have an oven doesn't matter cover this up and instead of putting it in the oven and doing it further what you do is you take a roti pan or any pan which will fit your whole pot into it and leave it on the flame at a very low temperature say on 3 or a very low temperature on your gas range for about 20 to 25 minutes so after 20 to 25 minutes as i said close the gas or the hot plate open the aluminum foil remove and you can see how beautifully the biryani is done now at this time what you have to do is shake this biryani a little bit shake in the sense from the little bottom get the potatoes and the goose and the mutton and all little bit in the middle so that when you serve it one doesn't have to go right in from the top one can serve and see the rice how nice and fluffy the basmati rice is no matter what rice you use basmati it has to be long grain so enjoy the food and thank you for watching so till we meet again bye bye au revoir and off we dance